What's up guys, Toasty here, Get Burnt, and today I wanted to do a little video talking about this new Dragon Ball Z game. Uh, it's called Dragon Ball Project Fusion, or at least that's what it's called right now, for those of you who don't know. Before every single Dragon Ball game usually gets its name, when it's announced beforehand, they actually have a project name. So I believe that Ultimate Tenkaichi was called the New Age Project 2011, so this one is called Dragon Ball Project Fusion. Now the reason it's called Project Fusion, and for those of you who most likely have heard about this already, uh, apparently in this game, you're supposed to be able to infuse pretty much any Dragon Ball character. Yes, any Dragon Ball character. Uh, they said in a recent advertisement that came out a few hours ago that you're apparently going to be able to fuse any uh, combination of Dragon Ball characters that you want. And I don't know if they're going to be talking about like every Dragon Ball character, including, you know, the ones from the original Dragon Ball as well. Because if they are, like I'm a mixed tambourine and like... Uh, Kid Boo, and like then you have some weird weird fusion but apparently this game is going to be an RPG where you kind of fuse you know I guess your whatever heroes you want to fuse together or villains with heroes that you want to fuse together since Broly and Goku are actually fusing on the scan itself uh, I guess you can use them and fight with them uh, personally I was actually hoping that this game was going to be like a successor to the legacy of Goku and Boost Fury series and kind of be like you know I guess a real redoing of that before the 3DS and everything like that with this style because I think that that would have been amazing because I really wanted a kind of you know legacy of Goku and Boost Fury type game to come out again because I really love those games back on the Game Boy Advance but sadly it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening. It seems like this is going to be mainly about these fusions instead of everything else. But in the rest of the scan, we get to see, like, apparently, like, there are separate parts of the world. Like, you see Capsule Corp and, you know, the city and all that stuff. Like, they're in the air, like, uh, elevated as if they're big craters, which is kind of weird. Uh, I, I really didn't expect that sort of thing. But we really don't have that much else to know about this. All we know is that it's chibi. Uh, it's meant to be some sort of game where you have, you know, fusions of whatever characters that you want. So I guess that you want to fuse characters like Goku and Piccolo, which, you know, obviously that never technically happened in the series besides a what if scenario in the anime. But, you know, I guess that now in this game, you'll actually be able to do that. Uh, I don't know how the game is going to work itself, but apparently the people who did work on the game One Piece Unlimited World Red a few months ago, I actually know it could have been almost a year ago, if not over a year ago when that game came out, uh, the 3DS version. Uh, apparently those people are going to be working on this game too so i don't know if it's going to be like unlimited world red or not uh, it's possible that it may be which means that it'll be like an open world type of rpg which i wouldn't hate um the only problem that i think i had with unlimited world red was that it didn't seem like it had enough content to really like i guess give people enough to play with i mean the game itself seemed pretty decent like the graphics were really good and it seemed like the combat wasn't too repetitive but like it seemed like there wasn't enough content there so i'm hoping that this game will be somewhat fleshed out i mean it's a 3d game and it's kind of weird how they're actually putting a lot of games for Dragon Ball on 3DS nowadays. Uh, I mean, we got Super Extreme booted at the end of last year, and now we're already getting an announcement for this Project Fusion game. A lot of people think that it's going to only be in Japan because the last chibi game that was made for um, Dragon Ball Z for the DS or 3DS was the Kai game, which came out like I think in 2011, 2010, and that only came out in Japan and it never came over here. And that's kind of that was kind of weird, but I am, I think that we're gonna still be getting this anyway. Um, so, but I don't think we're gonna get it dubbed. I think that every single game that comes in on the 3DS and everything like that will not get dubbed. They'll just like you know obviously localize it and like release it over here and uh, with subtitles, but it'll still be the Japanese voices. Me personally, I have a problem with that, but I know that there are a lot of people who probably would. But that's really all I got to say about this. I'm hoping that the game is good. Um, really, the most thing that they're pushing right now is the fusion thing. And I'm hoping that it is as in-depth as it sounds to where you can fuse any characters in Dragon Ball. And I'm hoping that that would include GT too. Because I know even though a lot of you do hate GT, I would love to see what kind of fusions I could have with Baby. And I think that would be really awesome. But I really want to see what you guys think about this game in the comments section down below. What do you guys think about this game so far from what they have given us in these screenshots and all that? Do you think that this game will be a good game? Do you think it'll be too small? Do you think it'll be bad? Um, what do you think about it? Uh, keep in mind, this is an RPG and it will be releasing in 2016. I'm hoping that we will get it as well in 2016 or at least in this year, obviously. Um, I hope that we will get it the same sort of thing as the Super Extreme Budokan. 
Uh, but we will actually have to wait for more information on this game. Just wanted to talk about it a little bit and ask you guys what you think about this game. So please be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's really it. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I will see you guys in the next video and I'll talk more about this game as well. If there ever is news that comes out of it in the next V jump or whatever. But yes, uh, see you guys in the next video. There's going to be a review for Super Tomorrow, obviously, because the Champ arc starts to today, which is awesome. Can't wait to do a review of that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.